The first open-air theatres were built by the Romans. Britain's first playhouse, the Theatre, was built in Finsbury Fields, London in 1576. King Charles I was king from 1625 until his execution in 1649. After his execution, theatrical performances were banned. This was to stop rebels gathering and plotting war. A theatre is recorded in the city in 1717, but a theatre on the site of the present building was not recorded until 1780. Later, a series of royal patents were granted to cities outside London. These became known as Theatres Royal. The Licensing Act of 1737 tightened censorship of drama, placing it under the control of the Lord Chamberlain. This theatre was demolished in 1874. And a new theatre was built on its site, opening to the public on the 18th of January, 1875. It now had up-to-date facilities, both for actors and scenery, and a larger and more comfortable auditorium which seated 1,600 people and had perfect acoustics. The theatre was destroyed by fire just a few years later, on the 24th of November, 1877. The theatre was once more rebuilt on the 8th of February, 1878. The appearance of the auditorium when it was lit up was brilliant without gaudiness and there were long continued murmurs of approbation as the house filled and its pleasing proportions and graceful outlines became visible. The Theatre Royal was demolished and rebuilt again, reopening on Monday the 19th of January 1903. Outside, an elaborate portico had been erected, stretching across the entire front of the theatre. In 1910, a projection box was added to the rear of the stage and the theatre was reopened as the Theatre Royal and Palace of Varieties, showing early films along with its variety shows. However, not long afterwards, the theatre was again plagued by fire on February the 18th, 1912, when it destroyed the theatre stage and roof. 
fire curtain wasn't able to protect the auditorium fully and a great deal of smoke damage occurred here too. The theatre was repaired and the lighting was changed from candle to gas and then later to electricity. After World War II, television led to the demise of theatre going. Good evening and welcome to BBC Television from Alexander Perez. Super cinemas were springing up rapidly. This in turn influenced the refurbishing of some new theatres which aspired to a more modern appeal, that of glamour and glitz. The theatre was finally closed on the 28th of May 1955. It then stood derelict until it was demolished in 1957 and a car showroom was built on its site. 